The fresh snow on the ice is a little slippery, so watch out. Look at all the tree branches. I know, it was windy last night still. Good morning, modern steaders. It is slippery. This little light snow looks pretty, but it's making for a slippery walk down to the goat barn this morning. So walk like a penguin. I was just going to tell you that. Walk like a penguin. Before you know it, we're going to be tapping our maple trees to get some maple syrup, and we got to decide if we want to tap some maple trees up at the new property or if we just want to tap the ones here this year. It all depends on how much maple syrup we're looking to make. You chicken snoozing or what? Huh? There you are. You coming out? You're all hiding under NYC. <laughs> they like hiding under the coop first thing in the morning. All right, so now we got to mark where our lights are. So here and this side of the stud. And how far out do we want to come with the light? Do we want to be like out here? Or do we want to be in a little bit? Because we, well, we could have the light like here. We're going to be able to have to get in, put this in from above. If we did like, let's go here. So we'll keep the lights 22 inches. 22 inches off the wall is where we'll end up centering our lights. So let's see if this way is the same. It should be. Yeah, we can go 22. All right, I want to make sure I mark all of the light locations on that stud this side. Because once we have the sheathing up, if I don't mark them now, we won't know where they go. So we're going to put all the sheathing up and then we'll drill out our holes for our lights. That's one of the things that's really nice with these lights 
is you don't got to cut the hole out until after. So if we go, let's say 44. good for 22 but oh yeah 22 by 9 100 meters We know what I mail. So we, exactly. Learning. I put that circle and the arrow for the light. Look at all this. Pop right off. There you go. I like working down this end. so different once we have the sailing sheathing up and the lights in and then the walls and then the walls and then we can start building furniture for in here and using it
That's with everything, isn't it? It is. Seems like I'm not. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Like move it and then move it back. To yeah. It's hard to carry that. Okay. How's that teamwork? Oh, it looks so different already, and it's not even up. Right. I gotta just get. It's squished over. Do you have the other ladder here? So I can help you? I do, but... I gotta trim it back just a smidge, unfortunately. Bummer. You right?
Mama always told me, clean up your mess. Alright. Can't wait to return the lights on. Last one. Last one. And it's a smaller one. Ugh. 
See how it looks. You broke it? I don't know if it's gonna work. Is the light switch on? No. We tried again, but the battery's saying it's cold, so we might have to bring the battery home and warm up. We can try it tomorrow. Yeah, the battery's too cold. Bummer. We would have put that in here if we didn't know that. It's a winter wonderland, Olivia. Yeah. The goats are liking it. They're out at the hay feeder. Yeah. Hey, chickens! Where are you hiding? You ladies all inside? What are you doing in here? I'll feed you inside then. Enjoy. All right, maybe we'll get like 10 eggs. Maybe. I see a pile. Two, four, six, eight, nine. And we could get one from the barn. I was just gonna say, I bet you we have one in the barn. We got one. We did. Yep. Look at that. See how many eggs your flock gave us? Okay. I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna say one. You're gonna say one? Yep. I'll give you the scoop. Okay. One, two, three. Thirteen eggs? I guess so. Three. Oh. All right, I gotta go run to the hardware store and pick up supplies for the shipping container so we can work on a new project tomorrow. I found another recipe from cleaneatingkitchen.com that I wanted to try. It's instant pot, chicken, curry, potatoes, and carrots. So I have some leftover chicken. Although the recipe is um, set up for uncooked chicken, so you would saute that up first. So I'll tell you your chicken and oil first so it's browned and then add your ingredients. But I already have cooked chicken, so I'm gonna try it like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my ingredients. So I'm gonna add my chicken. So this is just leftover from chicken I had uh, roasted earlier. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add, this is tomato paste, two tablespoons of tomato paste. So it came right out. I make two tablespoons of curry. I only had curry.
curry one other time before. And I thought it was good, so I'm hoping this will be good and easy. So two tablespoons of curry, and that's a quarter teaspoon of everything else. So we got garlic powder, Salt. Gotta fill my jar back up. And some pepper. So I have my potatoes and my carrots in here. I need to chop my onion real quick. Chicken broth. It smells really good. And release the rest of the pressure. Dear Lord, the curry was good. We're not huge curry people. We haven't made a lot of it in the past, so we're enjoying it. If you guys have any recipes, leave them in the comments down below or send us an email. I was hoping, or I should say, I was looking forward to getting the ceiling all up and then turning the light switch on to see how much brighter it made it in the shipping container cabin with the lights after the ceiling was installed and uh, frozen battery. I guess I shouldn't have left the battery pack in the cabin when I was negative 22 yesterday. So we'll have to try that out tomorrow. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps while you're down there. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Turn on notifications and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.